Hello everybody, Disciple here with Overwatch Curios. So Lunar Colony has been out for about a week, and we've finally gotten to see some Grandmaster and professional players start to approach this map strategically and figure out what the best ways are to play it on offense and defense. Now I wanted to show you guys how exactly the professional players like to approach this map and the best ways to play it so that you can try and bring some of that into your own games, either how you position your hero specifically or what kind of shots you call for your team. Now I've teamed up once again with Convertible, who was recently in the video How to Get Grandmaster with No Mechanics. Now Convertible is a Lucio main who plays as a shot caller in competitive and on his semi-professional team Precipitous Heights, and he's got some really cool strategies for Lunar Colony that I think are really going to help you guys in how you play the map and how you position your team. Now I also have a really cool bonus, but I actually played some competitive earlier today with Lone Hawk, and we actually tried one of these strategies in our game, and it worked really well for us. We didn't really get to pull off the full strategy because we actually were beating the enemy team so well, but it was still really fun and it led us to a very easy win on this map. And so without further ado, here's Convertible to give you guys some tips on the map. All right, so do you just wanna give us a little bit about, uh, you know, how you generally attack on Lunar Colony? Yeah, um, what you wanna do is you wanna instruct your team to go out of uh, this entrance in particular, because I'm pretty sure it's a lot faster than getting that way, because you're starting off further, further ahead than that one. So what my team usually does is we go outside this way, speed boost through here, and since we usually run dive here, the D.Va will defense matrix this so that we can cross into this room and then into bottom, and all of the damage gets eaten by matrix. And our Sombra would uh, hack this health pack, and we wouldn't leave this room until we have uh, EMP. So you want to take poke damage, uh, tell your Winston or your D.Va to take poke damage, because they can easily, you know, they can rush back to the health pack. They don't want to have uh, squishies take poke damage. But if they do get hurt, instruct them to take the hacked health pack. Uh, build EMP. Don't take, don't try to take an engage without EMP. All right. So your, your number one tip is is to pick Sombra for this yeah, Sombra map on attack. On first point and on second point is pretty powerful. Okay. Awesome. And uh, how fast does her old charge when you're taking that uh, health pack? It charges probably at max speed, actually, because you're gonna have tanks taking a lot of poke damage. Because if they're holding, if they're holding up there, or if they're holding right here, they're gonna be forced to get to the position where they can fight you head on. And the only position where that would be would be over here or on these stairs. So you're kind of forcing them to come over to you, and, and you're creating, you're putting yourself into a choke when making them think that they have the advantage. Okay. In all actuality, you're farming a health pack. Okay, but you only go in there when you have a Sombra. Yeah. If you don't have a Sombra, it's pointless going in here. All right, so uh, do you want to show us where you attack? Without a Sombra? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if you don't have a Sombra, there's lots of ways to do it. Um, if you don't have a Sombra... Like, say you're just running a, a typical dive comp. Um, you know, Andy with Tracer. no... Yeah, yeah, yeah. With no, no Sombra, you've got maybe Winston, D.Va... So uh, where where are you looking at for your approach? What you could try to do is if you have like a full on dive, have your backliners, uh, instruct your backliners to look back here. Uh, they'll probably catch a Zenyatta or something if they're holding down. Um, if they're not holding down, they're probably gonna be up there. So you'd instruct your Winston, your Genji, and your Tracer to call a target and go up there while the rest of the team will push up these stairs and uh, cut them off that way. That's a pretty good idea. If they have one over here, you know, just straggling or whatever, then that's that's one isolated and that's just a free kill. So you can take a a six v one and then a six v five over there. So look for stragglers on this uh, on this high ground area because not everyone is going to be clumped up. Okay. All right. That sounds like a, a pretty solid attack plan. Are there any other tips you'd give for uh, attacking this point? If you're attacking and they have uh, high ground. Um, you can either A, challenge them on high ground, or B, uh, rush the point where high ground will be virtually useless, however way you want to do that. Because right here, uh, there's no high ground that gives them an advantage. I mean, unless they're running a Farah that can shoot through that window, there's no real advantage to holding high ground. Okay, uh, so have maybe have like a D.Va taxi you in and just yeah. get onto the point, try to fight yeah, there. that's a viable idea, yeah. 
Because if they're holding up here, like what are they what are they gonna do? They they have to drop down. Yeah, they'll be able to shoot at you when they're crossing over. But I mean, at that point, your Lucio can heal you up and or your Anna can heal you up and you're gonna be full fight right here. Okay, okay, nice. That uh seems pretty straightforward. I I really love the uh the Sombra strategy. Mm -hmm. Um and now do you wanna show us how you defend this point? Um, if you're gonna defend, what we usually have to do is uh, we run to hive on defense too. We usually have our Genji right here scouting, and then um, Diva down here uh, scouting as well. So if the Genji gets, you know, if they get spotted, Diva can Matrix and Genji can dash out towards the Diva and Matrix, or Genji can go to this uh, mini right here, and then that give, that'll give him enough to uh, come over to his healers. If he's continuously getting shot at. Right, and then uh, you you position the rest of your team. I'm assuming uh, over on the high ground on the left. Um, or do you usually here. position on since, point? Uh, since Diva's right here with the Genji up there, we have um, we have both supports uh, in this back area, Zenyatta Lucio, so we can uh, discord and you know peel for each other. It's really important to stay with your support on this map because once they get a pick, it's that's critical like if one person dies on first point and the other team has six people alive you're at a major disadvantage yeah this seems like a very punishing uh, defensive spawn here does it feel any longer to you than other maps like temple of anubis or hanamura yeah this is it feels a lot longer okay i see interesting all right but overall the the defense is fairly standard mm -hmm. if you're running a if you for some reason you're running a standard comp with like triple tank or something uh holding up here is not a bad idea at like masters or lower ranks like that it's really easy to hold up here and a lot of teams don't know what to do against it because you can shoot across go across there because they won't know the attack plan that i mentioned earlier in the video um they'll probably try attacking through there or they'll try walking through here and by then you know your soldier or whatever that you have will be able to get a pick or two and then you can just engage on them with a numbers advantage. Okay, that seems like a, a pretty solid strat for the first point. So attacking second point, do you swap up your team comp at all? Or uh, do you try and stick with it? All the way through. Okay, I... Uh, and I, I was curious to know if there are any interesting heroes that you can run on this map. Um, I feel like May would be a potentially yeah. really good pick here. May is like a super good pick here. Any any stall character is a really good pick here. Like, if you can stall time, that's like every second counts on this map. Because if you can push it into overtime, um, that'll give the other team a minute. And if they can cap in a minute, they only have 30 seconds to get to this point. And if you choose May, and you wall off this point right here when they only have 30 seconds, they are forced to take low ground. So May in overtime or May when there's not much time, completely denying high ground from them and keeping it from you for yourself rather is really really like advantageous okay i see and so you're pretty much always uh attacking through the top right uh we pretty up much here? always yeah attack up here uh under some circumstances like if we when we keep our sombra um to carry over we hack this mini and then we deny we deny this mini and try to farm through here and then some will be over there and we just farm the health packs until Sombra has another EMP and we engage with that on high ground. We abuse these health packs and then we rotate back over and engage with that on high. Okay, so a big part of your strategy when you've got that Sombra is just kind of constantly EMP. poking uh, and just trying to get that ultimate as quick as possible. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds like a, a very cool strategy. And so defending standard, just uh, hold top left and you can fire down if they try and rush on a point. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't want to let him get like if you, if you see them get half a tick and no one's contesting, you need to call for your team to contest because at that point it's going to be really easy. Like, even like try to do as much damage as you can as you can up there while your uh, while your enemies are down here. But if you see them, you know, getting free percentage, then just go ahead and engage on them. So one thing that that felt very interesting about this map to me was the fact that this hydroponics lab it's like a very like it's a hard funnel you have to go into this room to come through and there's very few points to attack the point b uh does that make any of the like hard defensive characters like bastion or torbjorn any stronger or are they still really not worth picking against any real meta comp 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you have a bastion up here behind a Rhine Shield and a Mercy Pocket, like, they're not going through that. <laughs> they're not coming through here. Oh, uh, and then they're not really gonna be able to. This is, like, you're just gonna destroy the shield. Like, that's like. If you're in Elo where they can't counter you like that, then by all means, that's an amazing idea. Because okay. they're gonna have to swap to counter you, and they not they may not be comfortable on those characters that you're forcing them to switch to. And you can switch once they swap. Give it a couple seconds. You can switch off to counter them. So they're forced to challenge you. Um, on uh, with the character, assuming that you were gonna be on Bastion, but you swapped. Yeah, I think that's something that I've seen that. people don't nearly do enough, is like when they're defending here, they have such an intensely favorable spawn, and they don't use it to swap. Yeah. I mean, all percentage is really important, but I mean, if they're like, if they swapped a hard counter a Bastion for a push, you can just swap off Bastion. Unless you're like 99% to ult, you should just swap off. Uh-huh. Like a really good tip that uh, we haven't personally tried out in scrims, but I feel like this is a really viable theory, is if they're all holding up there, uh, Lucio can speed boost his team with like a Ryan shield or something, or like some sort of shield. It's a free percentage on the point. Because after you get first tick, it just goes by percentage. So you can get a lot of uh, free percentage if uh, they're just holding up there. Itch. Your expectations should be not to fight and to peel away after you get a few uh, percentage points. But okay. you should go in expecting to lose that fight. So take it as a dry wipe. Yeah, it also seems like it could be a potentially good chance to to get some ultimates out of the enemy ultimates. team. Yeah. Yeah, if, if they if they kind of panic at the fact that your whole team's on the point, you know, they drop a, a Reinhardt ult, and uh, mm -hmm. then you can come in the next fight, possibly win. I like this strategy a lot. And at that point, like, ultimates are, like, alt economy is basically how you win this map right here. Because it takes, it's so quick to get out of spawn. Like, there you go. I mean, spawn. I'm contesting point. And it's... It's more so like, if if they get a, like, if you don't kill, like, all of them at the same time, or a majority of them at the same time and create a winning situation for you, and you can sustain on yourself even if they come back, then you're not going to be able to fully cap. And on the other side, on defense, you just want to stall as much as possible since mm -hmm. it's actually very, like, there's a very high chance that your team will respawn and join you. Mm -hmm. If you lose first point, um, immediately, then just swap to stall and get a constant uh, cycle going. Because at that point, you're fighting for time. Because if you lose first point, uh, 6v6, no ults used, they have ult advantage and you don't. And so, stalling for precious time, because you're eventually going to cap point. Like that's how, like a lot of 2CP and competitive matches, it, you know, it results in first point being taken instantly and then a snowball into second, right? But the unique dynamics of this map allows you to contest for a very, very long time, longer than other maps. So you can really use that to your advantage. Yeah, I don't think there's anything... Oh, yeah, um, one more thing. On defense, this is where my team positions. We have uh, D.Va right here, Winston right here, uh, Genji's uh, over here, or on this side, and um, uh, Tracer is also somewhere... I think Trace is somewhere back there, I'm pretty sure. Not super far back, but like back around here or something. Just ready. But both supports, uh, like I said, getting picked on this map is very, very critical. That's what you should emphasize to your team before you go into this map. To ask for help. Looking for teammates to help rather than enemies to kill is something that I learned from PvP. And it's actually, it's so viable for 2CP. Like, I've seen so many 2CP games lost because of players looking for enemies to kill rather than looking for a Zenyatta to help out in a 1v1 or looking for a Lucio to drop a healing pad for. Okay, I see. I, I think it's a, a very useful tip. Yeah, and on, like, as a Lucio player, on this is probably the map where I peel for my Zenyatta the most, or my Ana the most. Like, I make sure my Ana is, like, super okay on this map. Especially this map. All right, well, that was our guide to how to handle Lunar Colony with Convertible. Uh, huge thanks to him, and if you guys want to check him out, he should be streaming today. Go to his stream in the link below and follow if he's not live at the moment. And uh, now here's some footage from uh, my stream with Lone Hawk, where we actually took the point incredibly quickly, executing the Sombra strategy. Yo, by the way, uh, if we go out this door over... Uh... Right? 
Or wait. Yeah, yeah, top right. Top right up here. I think Top right? What, what's my strat here, by the way? Wait, this... Oh, over here so on the right, I think this is the fastest way to leave the base. All right, what right, am I hacking, so and what are we doing? Uh, help pack uh, bottom right room. Uh, just follow just right up here to the right? Uh, almost, almost to the point. That is this PTR that or map live? Yeah, this is live. Yeah, yeah, okay. The blue one? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll just check. All right, so I'll shield us to go. Top right or bottom? Here? Oh, bottom, bottom, bottom. All right, hack that. All right, now everyone, everyone use this health pack as much as you can. Yo, yo, uh, Mercy, Mercy, Mercy. All right, we gotta kill Mercy. Uh, wait, can we just take the point? We killed two of them. Let's go, let's go. Reaper's low, Reaper's low. Oh, help, help! Oh. We didn't even get strat because we just killed him so fast. Wait, are we winning it? Tracer's coming to point. Mercy's there. Mercy's probably got res soon. I was just... No, she, didn't, she didn't get anything on last try. Oh, well, perfect. We killed her instantly before she killed anyone. GG! That was a hard game. Yeah, it was.